What is up everybody? So yeah, we just went to Disneyland uh, because of the kids and uh, our Sequoia parked right here. Man, we drove like seven hours from Santa Cruz down to LA. It was like 100 degree weather. It was super hot, crowded, expensive. Um, don't let the smiles fool you. Uh, Disneyland was rough. Everything was pretty rough about it. But the second leg of our trip, we're staying at the Dolphin Bay Resort in Pismo Beach. And uh, it's the Toyota Channel, so even though we're talking about going to Disneyland and family vacations, um, remember this is all this is all we're doing all this because uh, we're having the other the other Sequoia worked on, and we just needed to kill like a week. So I figured that uh, wow, look at that! That is absolutely insane, and it's a new Sequoia also. Wow. That is wild. What do you guys think of that? My life depends on ag, farm misses. So this is like a farm wife vehicle right here. Man, what do you guys think? Should we do this to our Sequoia? Wow. Man, you got the John Deere hitch right there. That is nuts. Wow. Wow. Anyways, this place we're staying here is super nice. It's a complete opposite of Disneyland. We just got room service. Uh, you guys got to see this room. And just like that, we are back home and we just put a thousand miles roughly on this vehicle in the last, I don't know, week or so while we were out of town. And uh, you guys remember in the last video, we had some uh, seepage from the timing cover, whatever, on the bottom of the engine. It was kind of concerning. So we just did a thousand miles and we're going to check back on how that's doing. We're in hundred plus degree weather a lot in all kinds of situations that really put this thing to the test. And we're going to see, I, I, I noticed wherever we parked it and, and here there's no drips. So this thing did amazing. Again, super hot temperatures down in Los Angeles. Uh, we drove the coast up Santa Barbara. We went inland, outland, all over the place. Super hot weather. Uh, we had the AC absolutely pumping in this thing every second we were in it, uh, front, back, dual, tri-zone, cranked. I'm, I'm actually one of those people, we, we just got home like an hour ago and it's like five o'clock, I don't have anything else to do today or tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna jump in and start washing it. Uh, you can see we got, it's not bad for, for all the driving we did, but we got a pretty good little bug collection going. 
So we were all over in this thing, you guys. As you saw, we went to Disneyland for a little while, which was, was, it was kind of terrible. I gotta tell you, we were much more into our, our second half. We went to Pismo. All we got, dirty floor mats, a nasty looking windshield. I don't even know if it shows, but this, this really isn't bad for a full blown vehicle road trip right here. We do have some something spilled right there and it's going on to the plastic trim, an unidentified fluid. That is gross, we'll have to take care of that, but I would like to pride myself that I think that my kids are actually, they're actually pretty clean. Uh, actually, some of the time I forced them to eat stuff back here, I was like, here, eat this graham cracker and fall asleep. But all in all, not too bad a condition. Uh, we are going to vacuum this thing out and uh, pretty much just go at it right now. We might as well just get it done it is really not that dirty back here like the back gate even just driving around town it usually gets filthy they're racing oh looks like Wright's gonna win um, had it the whole time oh boy what's that oh something went wrong Oh, it's just this piece goes up there. Okay. All right, let's talk about fuel consumption uh, to drive a Sequoia uh, about a thousand miles on a road trip with your family. We filled up four times uh, and it was anywhere between about 111 and 130 dollars and we came home with a little under half a tank. So basically just super rough off the top of my head. If someone said, how much does it cost to drive a Sequoia a thousand miles with the five, seven, I would say, I'm going to say $440. So we were talking on the way home. Uh, would it be worth it to drive a Toyota Corolla on this trip and save a couple hundred dollars in gas possibly? I don't think so. At one point, Miss Fanatic needed to get out of the passenger seat and climb in the very back to grab something. And she walked back there like it was a hallway. I mean, it's, it's not even like you're like really ducking and doing anything. You kind of just step over the, you know, because the back seats are captains also. There's kind of just like a path to the very back down there. You come back. It's like no big deal. I'm thinking, what other kind of vehicle can you kind of walk around open cabin like it's an RV? A Sequoia. So, uh, and not only that, but it's safe and roomy. Even though I will tell you what, one of the fears I do have is when we were out in the middle of nowhere, uh, is that we were out in the kind of middle of nowhere on these hot stretches of I-5 or whatnot and it's reaching 100 degrees and I'm thinking, God, if I had to get out and change a tire right now or if I had an issue with something, oh, God, no, not in that heat on the side of the freeway. Uh, but now that we're home, I can say we made it uh, with no issues, super good time. Anyways, I hate to end this video on some bad news, but I do have bad news. Now, it's not real bad news. I'm always trying to teach my kids, you know, real bad news is like somebody got hurt or you know, really bad stuff. But automotive bad news, and this is a bummer because, you know, I, I'm really into my Toyotas, but, uh, but the Sequoia, the OG Sequoia is, is getting some really cool work done to it. I mentioned that before, uh, custom body work, shaving, repainting, very cool stuff going on. It was supposed to be done today. It's gonna take a couple days extra. I fell victim to the uh, not being able to get parts right now. And it's nothing major, it's just some clips um, and, and some, some, some small pieces, but it's holding us back from finishing this. I was really going to finish up this video and show you guys everything, but we're just gonna have to wait just a tiny bit longer. It's gonna be worth it though. So anyways, I'm gonna get to cleaning the Sequoia. Um, thanks for watching this video. I can't wait to guys, you guys have got to see what I did to the OG Sequoia. You guys, it, it's, it's amazing. So if you're, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel, drop a thumbs up for this one and stay tuned. It's, it's pretty cool. And I think I might possibly could be the first person to ever do this to a Sequoia ever. It's, it's the first one off uh, unique mod. I, th I really think it is. All right, I'm gonna get to this and I'll uh, see everybody soon. Peace. Mm -hmm.